Boxing truth here. All right, the golovkin Jacobs negotiations are going nowhere. That is standstill. Tom Lawford doesn't see a deal being being made, and he was the one that initially requested the purse bid to be enforced. But Gilberto Mendoza disappointed fans when he didn't just enforce the purse bid, just get it over with. He extended the deadline to the twenty second. And hopes to make a deal, but it doesn't look like the deal is going to happen because Lawford can't get on the right terms with Heyman when it comes to a percentage deal when it comes to Golovkin Jacobs. Now, obviously, Jacobs and his team want 40%, and they've requested to the WA for a 40% in, in case a purse bid does go down. However, the WA recently ruled that they will not grant. Jacobs' request of getting 40% of a possible bid and the purse split will remain as what's according to the rules. 75% to the super champion, 25% to a regular champion in the case of Jacobs. So, I agree with WA's ruling. There's no reason for Jacobs to get any special permission considering Golovkin is a super champion with 16 dis- title defenses of the WBA title. He's a pound-for-pound level fighter. He's on, on a knockout streak. And the type of buzz he's creating around the boxing world, the WBA just gave him consideration of what he's doing in the sport, his his recognition, his name recognition, the type of defenses he has, and how many defenses he has with the organization. And that's the reason why Golovkin is entitled to 75%. I mean, Jacob's... What makes him special? Why should he get 40%? Based on what? The guy can't even sell out his own hometown arena. He's done jack shit pretty much ever since Pirog knocked him the fuck out. He's been taking safe fights, hand-picked opponents, and he's been defending a bogus belt as a regular WBA champion. So now, this is creates more doubt that the fight's going to happen between Golovkin and Jacobs. They have to make a deal. Jacobs is going to get fucked. I mean, he he possibly would get would get fucked if he if this goes to a purse bid. I mean, who's going to put down more than 4 or 5 million dollars for this fight? Is Rock Nation really going to be crazy enough to put down that type of money considering they did it before with an Al Heyman client in the case of Quillen versus Korboff when they put down a uh, a lot of money for the fight, came out of nowhere, surprised everybody in the industry. And as a result, Peter Quillen ended up vacating his WO strap, not taking a career high payday at the time. So, is Rock Nation going to really throw money at this fight? What other entity out there in boxing that we don't know of is going to throw that type of money at this fight? Considering there's no guarantee Heyman is going to allow Jacobs to go through with the bout, not at a 25% split. So, they have to make a deal if they want this fight to happen. Maybe they can get better terms if they make a deal. Maybe Loeffler's offering a higher percentage, just not 40%. But it is what it is. Doesn't look like the fight's going to happen. If Jacobs doesn't take the fight, then he's a ducker. This is opportunity to get the fight. He's in position to fight Golovkin. He has to take what he can get since the fight's going to be on regular HBO. Can't really expect... $3, $4 Three, four million dollars to fight Golovkin on regular HBO. So either make the deal, take the financial package, or leave it, or go to a purse bid and possibly get even lower of an offer to fight Golovkin. It's not going to happen. Him taking twenty five percent and possibly only fighting Golovkin for about one million, if that, if he can get that. So negotiations are going nowhere. They have another week and a half or so to make a deal. It is what it is. Hearing Hamey is not even returning phone calls, so doesn't look too good there. But if the Golovkin Jacobs fight doesn't happen, my question to y'all is who do you want Golovkin to fight next? Considering the options in the middleweight division are limited, since Golovkin wants to fight in America, he has a, a date already scheduled, December 10th, so they need to get the ball rolling on what who's going to be his next opponent. Now, he doesn't have any Mando obligations, I don't believe. No. I mean, he could get one of those out of the way since he has three belts. 
and obligations are going to keep coming up. And he's not a type of champion that avoids his mandatory challengers like some others. He's willing to fight his mandatory challengers. He's willing to give his mandatory challengers a shot. So, but you look at the the landscape, the middleweight division. <clears throat> who's at the top of the middleweights of the sanctioning bodies Golovkin holds? Sebastian Highlands, number one with WBC. Torian Johnson, he hasn't fought the entire year, hasn't fought in quite some time. He's coming off surgery. Is he really a suitable opponent for Golovkin? He's number one in the IBF, but there's no mandatory obligation. There's the WBA. Jacobs is fucking around. Doesn't look like he wants to fight. And Alfonso Blanco is the interim champion, so not really... I don't think anybody would say yes to any of those opponents since they're the top-rated guys in, in those sanctioning bodies. But he could look he could look at other opponents within the rankings. I mean, there's there's some guys there. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Who in the middleweight division would y'all like to see him fight that's rated within those sanctioning bodies Golovkin holds? But Dougie Fisher brought something up. He said... Why not a Bernard Hopkins fight? Maybe since Lawford, he revealed Lawford was going to go to the Golden Boy offices soon and talk business. Of course, possibly more talk about Canelo Golovkin and also maybe even maybe a Hopkins fight for Golovkin. I mean, I know Golovkin is going to get absolutely shredded if he was to take a Hopkins fight. But what's the alternative out there? either fight another no-name middleweight opponent or maybe he could fight a name guy, a legend, a future Hall of Famer, and a guy is going to definitely bring some some money to the table. The fight will definitely do some business wherever they put that fight, considering Hopkins is a name in the sport. He's a future Hall of Famer. He hasn't fought in a while, but It'll be interesting to see if Golovkin could possibly be the first to stop Bernard Hopkins. I mean, who else is out there for Golovkin? The Eubank, he's he's, he's recovering from a supposed injury. And the fight's only big in the UK, so that fight's not going to happen since Golovkin wants to fight in America next. Um, Saunders, he has a fight on the 22nd. He stated he's willing to fight in December, but he's he's pretty much all talk and no action. So that he's he's a, he's definitely a, a possibility that Golovkin's team could express if Saunders is serious about fighting in December, and that could offset any mandatory obligations Golovkin might be enforced. If the Jacobs fight doesn't happen, Kurt Sitzi, he's rated within the WBC. Would you guys like that fight? I don't I'm not interested in Torian Johnson. He hasn't fought in a long time. No interest in Alfonso Blanco, the interim champion of WBA. Have no interest in Highland. So there's really in the middleweight division there's not much. Since Jacobs don't want to fight him, he wants to cash out payday. Doesn't look like he's gonna fight him now that the WBA has ruled that he's he's only entitled to twenty five percent of the split. So you could very well see Jacobs vacating that belt, but it just it does nothing for his career. Why give away that position? Why not just take the fight instead of just fighting somebody else and possibly competing with Golovkin in a separate show in Brooklyn at Barclays Center? And Golovkin may still fight in New York at Madison Square Garden. Good luck competing with Golovkin in New York. If, you, if Jacobs is not going to fight Golovkin and still fight on that date at the Barclays Center, good luck. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Would y'all prefer a Hopkins fight over the alternative opponents at middleweight for Golovkin? It would be a circus, but I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind it. Hopkins has always wanted to fight Golovkin, thinks he could beat him, still thinks he could beat him, and he's wants to get one final fight. There's been talks of Joe Smith Jr. in preliminary talks, though. That could be his, his farewell fight, Golovkin. He's always wanted to fight him. Now's his chance. Maybe maybe they could do that fight since there's really no other 
attractive options out there on America since Golovkin wants to fight in America on December 10th. But let me know what y'all think. Who would you like to fight Golovkin next if it's not Danny Jacobs? This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.